Well, my name is Jamie Yancey Jones, and when I first started, they called me Crawling James. So I met the great Howling Wolf, and he gave me the name of the Tail Dragon. And he called you Tail Dragon because? Yeah, I, I was late, and my time was bad. And that's how I got that name, Tail Dragon. Because yeah. I didn't know timing, you know. When I first started, I'd watch the guitar player know when to sing. Mm -hmm. But the drummer is your timekeeper. I didn't know that. And Wolf taught me that. How y'all feeling out there? You know, yes. I used to do this on my feet. But now I got old, sometimes I have to take a seat. Now don't make fun of me, because you keep on living, one day you're going to take a seat too. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to sit here and sing my blues. Is that all right? Now tell tell us where you're at today. What what was the gig you did today? Uh, Cook County Jail. Cook County Jail. Mm -hmm. And you were here 25 years ago. Yeah. And tell us why you were here. Well, I got in trouble. A guy was trying to put my butt, and so I run from him two weeks. So this guy, him and I didn't get along. Called Boston Blackie. Boston Blackie. Yeah. So I run from him. Everybody was laughing. Give me $50, I'll whoop him for you. I said, I don't have to pay you, just tell the guy to leave me alone. Went to the police station three times that day. They tell me they can't do nothing, I got to wait till Monday. So that Saturday night, we playing at Delta Fish Market. Delta Fish Market on the west side. Yeah, yeah Jackson and Kilda. Mm -hmm. I did about six number, and I said, I'm sitting there waiting to get paid. So Boston Black is sitting out there in the dark somewhere watching. As long as someone was with me, he didn't bother me. He called me by myself. This lady brother had stole my pistol. He didn't know I had a brand new one. Yeah, new pistol. Yeah. yeah so I took pistol. it out of my boot. Took your pistol out of your boot. Put it in my pocket. So I put a half pound of granddad on top of it. So people think that's whiskey sticking out. <laughs> so I look around, here you come. You black MF, you call the police on me. I finna help you for good. I'm sitting there. I didn't have time to aim. And he come up on the bandstand with a knife. Jumped up on a three-foot bandstand. All I had to do was take my leg and pull me off. He didn't do it. He gonna show the people how he gonna whoop me in style. So I just pulled my pistol out and shot. He died on the spot, right? Yeah. 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 That when he left eye, come out on top of his head and knocked him to the ground. So I got in my pickup, called my wife, went home. I said, "Get dressed. I'm going to turn myself in." And you pleaded, first it was self-defense, and then they changed it to uh, second-degree murder. Right? Yeah, yeah. And when the coroner stated that the bullet went in the left eye and come out of the top of the head, how could I stand up and shoot him? And I'm six feet two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he fired something. Well, how long did you serve in Lincoln? They sent you to Lincoln? Yeah. Minimum security? Yeah. 17 months and three days. What did you think when you saw the audience here? I mean, when you saw those guys and you were looking at them and you were telling me earlier how you try to connect with the audience and you feel the music through the mm -hmm. audience. So this audience today, where did that take you? I thought about once I was here, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I can understand their position because I've right. been here, you know. And what would you tell them if they came by and talked to you right now? What, what advice would you give them since you've been here? Well, if you're in here, you try to obey the orders, you know, and stay out of trouble. Run!